skirt, no shoes, and a fucking, uh, and I get rear, they, they go to your property, you know, when they process you into jail. And so they pull out a bag of cocaine and they re, <laughs> they, they re-arrest me at the jail. Oh my God. So I'm, in, <laughs> so, so I'm in there for like three days or something and it's on the news and then the apartment building's fucking over me even though I rented four apartments in the building. One Why was, did you rent four? Because one was a skate park. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> one, was, uh, <laughs> one was because one was he's in Australia. Yeah, he's in Australia on tour right now, and he goes, "Yeah, I mean, that is this morning." He goes, "Yeah, man, you got a koala come come to the hotel," and I went. <laughs> Oh shit, man! Those things have uh, chlamydia, so make sure you wash your hands. And he goes, "Shit, I have some things too. He better wash his hands." <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, "All right, dude. All right, man. Uh, 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 He's so stupid. He's so shit, fucked up. I have some things. Too. <laughs> he, said, he better wash his hands. But oh he, my god, that's funny. But it's legit. A koala's coming over to this <laughs> fucking hotel. <laughs> That's so Theo. Oh, I never told you the end of that. Oh, sorry. So, no, I took that bag of mushrooms to that party. Right. And a bunch of people ate them who'd never had them before. Uh oh. And then we played a game of hide and go seek, right? I was like, oh, no. Oh, dude. <laughs> you hide in another dimension. I was like, I'll count. You guys go hide, right? Oh, no. And I never went to fucking look for them. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of that, bro. I never seen one dude, this boy <laughs> Timothy. I never seen that dude again. Uh, Crazy picture. You in your underwear with a tiger on a chain. That is. That is one of the. That's the that champ is right like, there. That's you at peak crazy. Yeah, insane. Yeah. yeah. Tom, what was going through my mind? Yeah. I don't know what made me think about. My friend said, Mike, you can get some awesome animals. And I'm saying, really? Are you serious? <laughs> to a lot of guys, like if you had to choose between being blind or having your dick break, where your dick can never get it up again. Oh, no question. What would you say? Give me the fucking stick and the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the Stevie Wonder glasses. <laughs> we should do a flamethrower. So we... Does anybody tell you no? Does anybody go, Elon, um... Maybe for yourself, but selling a flamethrower, the liabilities, all the people you're selling this device to, what kind of unhinged people are going to be buying a flamethrower in the first place? Do we really want to connect ourselves to all these potential arsonists? Yeah, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Shouldn't buy one. I don't. I said, don't buy this flamethrower. Don't buy it. <laughs> don't buy it. That's what I said. But still, mm. people bought it. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to stop them. It's you I build it, they will come. <laughs> I, I, I said, don't buy it. It's a bad idea. How many did you make? You. It's dangerous. It's got. It's wrong. <laughs> don't buy it. And still, people bought it. I just couldn't stop them. How many did you make? Twenty thousand. And they're all gone. In three, I think four days. We <laughs> sold out in four days. Whew. Dude, I talked to your buddy Eddie Bravo, and that guy is a real. He's out there. He's like a Jack. He's like a deaf, like a deaf Jack Russell almost. You know, a deaf Jack Russell. Yeah, because once he gets going, you can't. Oh, Jack Russell Terrier. Yeah, you ever been around one of those dogs? You open the car, and then the next thing you know, they're at the. Yeah, they're like sick. Yeah, but well, how's he deaf? Because you can't get him back. Like once he goes, you can't. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You can't get him back in the car. <laughs> like you're sitting there honking the horn. You can't. That guy's out there. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? I do know what you're talking about, but I've never heard anybody make a, a, a description like that. A oh. deaf Jack Russell Terrier. I still remember my mother taking me into a restaurant bathroom and holding me in a, what's that one name? Headlock? Called? Guillotine? The other one. Guillotine. And, and she's punching you? Me. No. She shot you up? Yeah. With, with what? what? Penicillin. Oh my God! Because I, my, I, when I was a kid, I was so sick. She got you in a headlock and shot you up. Better <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> Where'd the listen needle to go? Me. Listen to me. On top of his head. Cubans. <laughs> we had, I had a Cuban doctor, a, do, a doctor Orlando Del Valle. Oh he made house God. calls. Okay. Ugh. He came over. He would come into the room, and this is very funny because I'm gonna tell you how fucking hysterical Heretix is. Hereditary shit is crazy. <laughs> Your kids get what you got. Now, he would come over. 
Now, Dr. Del Valle did a bump from time to time. Now, this is... <laughs> your doctor I'm talking did about... What? I'm talking about 1968... This is your doctor? 69, please. A bump? This goes on. Uh, him, uh, when he come over, I lived on 205 West 88th Street. He'd bring the little thing, and him and my mom would talk, and my stepdad, and then somebody else would be there, like a chick that would help my mom, and sure enough, he would come over... Put the thermometer in my ass, and then look at me and say, "Jose Antonio, we have to give you a needle." And I go, "Give me five minutes. Let me think about it." And he and my mom would go, "What's going on?" He has to think about it. I swear to God, you don't take that needle, I'll fucking kill you. So then they would go in the fucking parlor to put on Cuban music, and I would like put cartoons on, like it was an ever ever inevitable. And then, then he would he would have like two drinks. Like how old are you during this time? I'm five, six. <laughs> he would have two drinks. Then he'd come back in. He goes, oh, Antonio, are you ready yet? And I'm like, I'm not ready. So for years they called me, me va doler. That means it's going to hurt. They would have to hold me down and give me a shot. So then my stepfather, mom, the uh. babysitter, and my mom, and my mom would be like, I'll fucking knock you out. Stop crying, you fuck. Be a man. I be the one gonna hurt. All I do is I listen. I watch the news once every two weeks. I'm like, I, I, mask or no mask? Still mask? All right, mask. That's all I give a fuck about. I don't care. But even they say you shouldn't wear a mask unless you're treating a coronavirus patient. The World Health Organization. Yeah, but they didn't say that initially. They didn't say it initially. No, they didn't. They did, and then it gradually, then it gra they, and then wait, 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 and then everybody wore the fucking masks. This is like rollerblading. Everybody fucking rollerbladed, and then there was that one fucking homophobic joke, and then everybody acted like they never did it. <laughs> and then a, a hundred million fucking rollerblades got thrown into the fucking ocean. We all wore masks, and I then all of a sudden, people are fucking sitting there. What? You don't have the body type for it, dude. <laughs> Your fucking knuckles would scrape on the ground. <laughs> Even with that extra two inches. <laughs> Also to tell someone their breath stinks. I don't though. even. I, 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 I can't tell girl. Friends. If you work with them, you have. If you work yeah. with them, you have to. I would tell yeah. friends. And I would them, want them to. to tell me. Like yeah. if your breath stinks, I'm going to tell it's you. The worst. Tell you. And I would yeah. want you to tell me. Of course. That's one cool thing about black people. They'll tell you if your breath stinks. <laughs> They will tell you. <laughs> Black watched, people have I no watched, problem with that. I watched Flavor Flav on uh, I have no Love balls. of Rock or some I'm shit. I'm a fucking pussy. Right. I once got head from a girl. That would, she, was, she would come over and give me a massage. <laughs> she wasn't very good looking, but yep. she was down to give a massage. And by, <laughs> by the time we're done with the massage, she knows she's going to get to... She wanted to um, give me oral pleasure. Long yeah. time ago. Right. Long yeah. time, but she used her teeth. Oh, boy. And I didn't have the fucking courage to tell her that I'm like You're she terrible. thought yeah. I was enjoying yeah. it but I was like ow oh, oh, <laughs> fuck she's going oh my god she's looking at me winking at me and shit and she's scraping she's her teeth that's a good guy scraping it scraping oh, it and every feeling. time she came over I, here we go and I'm trying to survive you like grab stuff, stuff you know I'm, I'm, I'm such a pussy. Pussy. blankets and couch I'm a pussy <laughs> you just Dude. trying to survive oh that's my god so good. And on the way home, we got on the bus. And while we were waiting there, my stomach started hurting. And I said, Jesus Christ, I don't know if I'm going to shit myself or fart, but let me just take a chance. Mm, good move. And, and I blew this fart, Joe Rogan. That was so bad. <laughs> right? We were on a bus, and people started running. You know the school buses? People started running to the windows, right? To swing down the bus windows. But here's where it gets better. I fought it again. And the teachers were going, oh my God, he's changing flavors. But the worst, <laughs> but the changing flavors. But the worst thing was uh. the cheerleaders were crying. That's how bad it smelled. <laughs> they were sitting in front of the bus going, ah, He's changing flavors. One of the teachers yelled out, uh, oh my God, he's changing flavors. <laughs> That's how bad these farts were. My, my, father's death friend, death. my father's friend, he was sleeping. His wife said, you have to go to the dentist. So why? He goes, the, your breath is so out of control. And they've been married for 25 years. So he goes, Jesus, all right. So, so, so check this out. This is, so apparently... He had an abscess, a sack of bacteria in the back of his mouth. Well, oh. when they, when they, I guess, took the tooth out of the filling out and they popped by accident the sack, the nurse threw up <laughs> and the fucking dentist, and the dentist walked into the room at that moment and pulled his mask off and threw the fuck up as well. No, yes. no. no way. <laughs> it was a double vomit fest. 
Can you and, imagine? And that was so bad. <laughs> yeah. So did, did she, she puke on him or she what? Puked did she puke? She, she, <laughs> she didn't puke on him. She just puked. Went, uh, uh, and then, but they popped the sacks. She went, uh, uh, and the dentist walked in and, and went, he had his mask on. And he went, he, he, got, the, he uh, got his mask off just barely uh, in time. Went, uh, like that. Oh it was my that God. bad. Yeah. Oh, my. That bad. Not that's a good situation. That's so crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's so crazy. Oh, yeah. I never have the ball. And then it merged into Chip, who my girlfriend hated so much. Uh, <laughs> um, and Chip became the fucking un because they would Chip would embarrass people. I did that literally before I ever thought of doing it on the radio. I would be out with girlfriends and embarrass them by doing that. Like we, I would just be making bad jokes in the cab, and my girlfriend, uh, you know, uh, Jen, and even girlfriends before her would just go, "Just shut the fuck up. It's not funny." <laughs> And uh, it made me so happy. And what, she, what? This is what would drive Jen crazy. We'd be in like a really nice steakhouse, and the waiter would come over, and she would order like the salmon, and then Chip just goes, "How much is that?" And would ask the waiter, and she was like, "Do you know how humiliating it is that people think I fuck that guy? People think I'm fucking this guy." 